Hey y'all, it's your girl LaCrystal and I'm back with another makeup video and in today's video I'm going to be using the Nude Rose Nightfall 12 color eyeshadow palette and here are all of the colors that come with it. Um, they're more of the shimmery colors and I think they're pretty so let's just see how this turns out. Okay, so I already applied my concealer on my eyes, so now I'm just doing my crease, and I'm actually doing with a lighter shade. That's where I've been messing up at lately, starting off with darker shades when you really want to start off with the lightest shade possible to get to the color that you want to get to. So now I'm just doing the exact same thing to the other eye, exact same color. So now I'm just going in a shade darker in my crease, so I'm doing the same exact thing, but I'm just gradually getting darker to the color that I want to get to. So now, you guessed it, I'm doing the exact same thing to the other eye. Let me stop being petty. But no, I'm doing the same thing to the other eye. Let me end with the darker color. So I can gradually get to the color I want. And I actually went in with the blending this time. Like I'm really trying to get the colors to, you know, go together and look smooth. So now I'm going into my crease with a darker brown color. Um, just trying to, like I said, make it darker so I can build up to the color that I want. And as you can see, the whole time I've been using a light hand. I'm kind of heavy handed when it comes to makeup. So I'm trying to like have my hand towards the end of the, the uh, brush so you can actually have less control. And that way the colors won't come on so dark. And if, you, if it's only a little bit, you can always go back and add more. So now I'm just blending it in more. doing the same exact thing on the other eye using a light hand putting in the darker color in so now I'm going in with an even darker shade of brown um, I really had to use a light hand on this color because this one is actually more what's the word pigmented than the other one so I had to be really careful with this one next I'll use this flat brush to add color to my eyelid and as you can see I chose to go with the purple color um, this purple was really pretty. I did have to add more on to get the actual look that I want, but for the most part, it was a pretty color. And now I'm just blending in what I did so far so it can look smooth and not like pack on my eyes together, you know, if that makes sense. So now I'm using like a purplish, bluish looking color for my outer V. Now I'm just kind of blending the color over so it can all look, you know, together. 
now I'm trying to highlight my eyebrow, or at least under my eyebrow, but I don't think I chose the right color. But it is what it is. We're going to make it work for today. Because like I said, I am not a makeup artist. I am strictly doing this for fun. Now I'm just blending everything together. Everything I did. So it could all look like one smooth piece of artwork. Or at least that's what I think it is. Again, I'm doing the inner corners of my eyes and um, I'm using a light color and here's the finishing look. 